Michael here and welcome back to a brand new video. In right, today's video, I'm not doing an update on this. I'm doing an update not here. No, not here yet. Not over there. Not over there. But up here. Ah. Something's different here. There's train track that curves and straight a bit. There's a train station with a couple of people on it. What exactly is going on here? And what is that thing? What is that abomination? Well, I'll tell you. And it all starts with a little history lesson. A long, long time ago. Let's start at the beginning of the beginning of this. Way back when, in 1893. Mountain traversing trains were becoming quite popular and very, very useful. And many people were paying to ride on it to get from point A to point B. From the bottom to the summit. But, usually, on mountains, if you want to go along the mountain, you'd have to cut out a side of the mountain if it was flat, like a cliff. And you'd have to place tracks along it. Now that takes time, effort, and money. Another option was to build out a tiny little uh, bridge that scaled across the entire cliff. But that was costed also a lot of money, time, and effort. And it was also very unsafe. So then, a brilliant man who goes by the name of John Warner came up with an amazing solution for this. He took a regular mountain traversing steam train and then he decided if he put the wheels sideways and the rim right side up and then placed a boiler and a firebox on top and had sort of like a gear shift gear mechanism that attached to a gear going straight down into the wheel, sort of like a geared steam locomotive, then it would go along the side of the mountain. So, he designed a design that was very, very strange. And the people nicknamed it the Mountain Deer, because Mountain Deer and Mountain Goats love jumping up high, steep cliffs. And it was instantly a success also. And within the first year, there was over 13,000 passengers that traveled along this railway. People loved it. And, and it's still here to this day, overlooking this at Brick City down below. And to this day, it is still operating in full function. And since 1893, all the way to present day, over a hundred years ago, there has only been about two accidents. And even in those accidents, only an account of three people died. So this was a really great invention. Now, many people say, oh, upgrade it to diesel, upgrade it to electrical. And they tried, but it would never get the same function as the classic steamer mountain deer. So, to this day, it still runs up on, Ego, on the Ego Mountains, overlooking the beautiful serenity and we can all thank J.K. Warner for all of that. So that gets you up to speed with the history on this thing. Now, I'm not going to take it to the studio today because it's hard to set up the tracks in the studio. But if you look at it from the side, it's actually hanging on there. And as I explained, you can see there's the whistle. Here's the boiler, firebox, steam funnel, chain, gear, and wheel, also coach, and also the main driver guy. So yeah, 
And also there's a station here that is currently a work in progress. I'll make another update when this gets a bit more detailed. But yeah, anyways, that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you did enjoy it, and I'll see you all next time.